water is a crucial part of every game environment, but sometimes it can be challenging to make it look good. So let's create a water tile step by step together and later on in the second part of the video I'll show you not one but two ways of making it move and wave. Ok, we have our canvas, let's turn on tiled mode and let's turn on grid as well. Ok, now let's grab a color of our background and let's paint it. Let's grab a new layer, so we can call that one background and we can call that one a foam layer ok and on that foam layer take a lighter color turn on pixel perfect and we can start drawing a foam so we want to make circles just like that and we can make them more of a horizontal circles instead of like normal circles and we just want to make a few of them they can be a bit bigger than you would normally do I'm just getting rid of the double lines here and there but I guess that looks decent for what we need and now let's grab a even lighter color and add few highlights just don't overcomplicate it it's really, really simple task. I do it randomly. I don't pay too much attention to where I paint those highlights. Okay, but we have them now. So let's turn off the foam, go to the background layer, grab that color, make it a little bit darker we can turn off pixel perfect now and just draw a a few like patches of patches of like you know darker shadow and deeper water they also don't have to be perfect okay we have that that already looks pretty good but let's now animate it and that's the coolest part because there are two ways of animating it there's one simple one so you take a new frame you grab background and you just move it by one pixel up but if we have the tiled mode you see that there is a gap and we need to fill that gap and to make it consistent with the top part here I have a little neat trick we can do so you turn off tiled mode you change the canvas size to the one pixel or two pixels wider depends on how much you want to move the whole thing and you just grab it again move it one pixel up you copy the top part and you just move it down you see that's so simple and we copy second frame and now we take the foam and we move it up by one as well and we move that down here 
Yep, exactly. And now we copy that frame again. We go to the background, move that down by one, and we take that and move it up. So you see that at first the only the background moves, then moves the foam, then the background goes down, and we also need to take the foam down, which is that frame. So now when we go back to the previous size and turn on tilt mode and we'll turn off grid, we can see that we have a nice little animation. Maybe it's a little bit too fast, so we can slow it down. Yep. But that's a really simple one and it does not give the best results. So let's grab the first frame again. Let's call this animation simple anim. Grab four frames. Now we'll turn off tilt mode and we'll again increase this sprite size. Okay. So now we'll take four pixels and why four? I mean you can do one, you can do two, you can do three but uh, our tile size is 16 by 16 so uh, four pixels will be pretty good for what we want to achieve and okay and we just move that one pixel up and we move that one pixel up now we go to the next frame we skip the first four pixels and we grab the second four pixels and we move them up and we do it again on both the background and on the uh, foam layer Just like that. We go to the next frame. We skip first 8 pixels. That would be 4. We move them up by 1. And we do the same on the foam. We Move those down. We patch up the things where they got weird. Just like that. And we go to the last frame, we grab 4 pixels again, we move them up, we move them up, and we take them down. We don't have any foam here. And of course, we just clean them up a little bit. And now, when we add a tag, a, yep, a tag, so we can call it better anim oh, look there's one more pixel here and here actually we can play it oh actually let's go back to 16 let's start on tiled mode oh and 
Oh look, he didn't have any pixel here as well. And when we turn it, we have like a wave thingy. And I think it looks pretty good for the amount of work we've put into it. Of course, you can also change some of those colors a little bit. So it looks even nicer. Yep, let's see how it looks now. That's it. It's really, really simple. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and giving a like. And see you soon in the next video. See ya.